Okay, so today I'm going to be doing another wig review. This one comes courtesy of my first wig. I feel like whenever you see these little cute wig stands, you already know what's going to be behind it. And it's going to be bomb package from my first wig. So I'm super duper excited. Of course, you got a pack of wig caps. You have a little pouch that's going to have some extra goodies. And then as always, they give you the flyaway tamer. I have a few of these now, which makes me so excited because they give you so many great goodies in here. So as always, they give you a wrap tail comb. They give you your elastic. This is more than enough for one wig. They also will give you um, clips, and then they give you a little small pack of your um, bobby pins. Now for the moment I'm excited for. I'm really excited because you guys know I've been really into color lately. I don't have as much time as I would love to just play color all day every day because my kids are like literally with me 24 7 and you guys know you guys know this is gonna be so fire so it's a nice beautiful like honey golden brown it's like the baby hair or the hair right here is like in that color and then it goes around to the back I don't even know if I'm explaining it properly but this is so off camera, I went ahead and added the elastic. Really, really, really love the way this wig lays. You can almost look at it and tell it's just sitting on that hairline so good. It's not going to slide. It's not going to move any of that because that elastic band is going to keep it in place. If you want to know how to add elastic band, I have a tutorial linked in the description bar for you guys to check out. As far as cutting off the lace, I always prefer to cut the lace off with the wig on my head. I just am able to cut... In a shape and an angle that fits exactly what I want on my head opposed to doing it like off my head on a mannequin head. So this wig does appear to be pre-plucked, pre, pre but the knots are not bleached. So I'm going to show you basically how I customize the hairline and kind of make it look like the knots are bleached without, you know, going to the sink and adding any dye or anything like that. So I went ahead and just kind of scattered or sporadically pulled out a few pieces of hair. I didn't want to just like part straight across on each side and like pull up that much hair. Um, and that's going to give the most natural effect. And then I went ahead and trimmed each piece down um, to about mm, an inch to half an inch. Now I'm going to take this fresh baby hair brush. Um, and my edge booster and I'm just gonna swoop the baby hair now the last couple of weeks I've been like why are my edges why is my baby hair not coming out smooth and what I realized is I finally replaced my baby hair brush you guys know when I get to this step the baby hair brush I normally use is the exact same except it's pink well that one was like super old I want to say it was at least in a year old and it was very like um dirty because <laughs> it was like encrusted with got to be glue gel and so having a fresh one was like a fresh breath of air it definitely makes a difference so make sure that you're cleaning your brushes because I definitely wasn't when it came to my baby hair brush so you guys see how amazing this one lays it just kind of lays down naturally to like look like it's like a quick weave wig or not even a quick weave wig a uh, sew in with leave out it's just so amazing how like it just sets in and just lays on your hairline so the parting on this one goes back extremely far I had to like double take like wait a minute is this a full lace wig because uh it goes back really really far I would say this about seven maybe even eight inches of parting I would guess um I went ahead and added my foam lotion and this is just my cheat way of laying down the crown of my hair without like pressing it and I kind of seal that in with heat now I'm going to go ahead and do some wand curls. Wand curls are my favorite curls to do just because they're quick and easy. They can be different sizes. They can go in different ways. And they always look good. Sometimes when you curl with a curling iron, if you don't know what you're doing, it kind of looks amateur. I feel like wand curls is kind of like the cheat way of getting flawless curls because you can really never go wrong. Now also, if you really want your curls to last and to stay, I would suggest to add a holding spray. I did not. I just added a little bit of my shine spray before I started for a little bit of shine. Sometimes a little bit of a serum or a shine spray can help to tame any frizz or flyaways a little bit. Kind of weigh the hair down just ever so slightly so that, you know, is no flyaway, so to speak. So that definitely helped. And again, it added a little bit of shine and sleekness. 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 I could. It's a tongue tire 
it added some sleekness to the look and you guys can see those curls look so beautiful and I didn't like measure out to make sure each piece was perfect or anything I just did it and it just still comes out so uniform so I am curling the hair away from my face I feel like the more you do it away from your face it kind of gives a flirty appearance whereas if you do it towards your face it kind of gives like girl like girl next door curl curls so to speak also, if you want it to be super flirty, go ahead and layer the hair in the very front, like around your face. So it kind of gives that nice bang or swoop. But you guys can see how beautiful these curls are. Nice, soft, curly, and bouncy. But you definitely do not want to um, separate them until after you have let them dry and set. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my Sebastian Shapers just to make sure that as they set, they don't fall, you know, so easily. But I didn't put too much. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the opposite side. And I kind of sped through it. I know you guys don't want to watch me do this for 30 hours. Once you see it like a couple times, you kind of get the idea of what you should do. Hold your wand curly there for about, you know, 15 to 20 seconds. And boom. Super pretty, super natural, and gorgeous, and sexy, and fire all together. Oh, and I added a finishing spray up top because I kind of got frizzy up top and just sealed that in all over again. Everything I used is linked down below. So, you know, thank you for watching. Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and did some really nice wand curls. I'm letting them kind of set and I'll talk to you for a minute and we'll pull them apart together. So I don't even think I showed you the bag, but this is like a nice travel bag for your wigs this is what the wig came in i'm sure you've seen it but i didn't even like make it known of what this was um and aside the bag was your wig and also this little card that tells you exactly what you have so with this one it is a silky texture 20 inches the hair color if you're interested is literally called same as picture um the cap size is a one which is usually what i always go for um it's a glueless lace cap and then the lace color is medium brown so this one was definitely super easy to work with I'm not going to use a comb I'm just going to use my fingers and just go through it now with this one I feel like um, I'm not sure if the website promotes it as pre-plucked but it definitely was plucked really nice in the front and it did kind of get a little bit white. So I'll just take a little bit of water and like, I wanna spray it directly cause I don't wanna get water in my makeup. Something crazy yet kind of cool about this one is that when you look at the parting, it blends with my skin naturally. Like it looks like this can be a sew-in, you know, clip-in extensions or whatever. If you look really good in there, you can see the knots are not really necessarily bleached. There are still some black dots in there, but there's something about it that makes it look and feel like it is like skin tone. And I did not add any powder. I'm not going to add any powder. I did not bleach the knots. I literally was able to just add my wand curls, style the baby hair a little bit, and now I'm ready to go. The hair, I love the way I pulled away the wand curls and it just made the hair look even fuller. So, oh, I forgot to use my edge chamber. I'm so sorry, you guys. I have a couple of these. This one is already open, so I'm not going to open this one. I'm going to keep that one fresh as a backup. But this here is the edge tamer. And I've used quite a bit of it, so it's kind of dwindled down. But it's just a little stick. It rolls up like a deodorant. It really doesn't have a strong smell. It's like a light scent to it. Not a bad scent. Really can't describe it. When you rub it on your skin, it literally comes up clear. And then I'll call demo. I'm going to turn my wand color back on for you guys. And while that heats up, I'll just put a little bit in the parting. I don't know if you guys can kind of see, but um, my braids under here are not perfectly tight. So it's making the wig look a little extra lumpy. But you just take the edge tamer and you put it in the places or the areas that you want to lay down. You want to take a brush to kind of seal that product in. And then what I love to do is just go over it with a little heat. And that's going to help my hair to lay super duper flat. 
especially with the winter time coming up, the fall and the winter time coming up. Um, it's definitely about to get really cold and the elements are definitely going to be attacking your wigs, your weaves, and your natural hair. This is a great product that helps to get rid of flyaways and frizziness and, you know, just helps to combat the weather we're about to receive. So, hope that made sense. It also adds a little bit of shine to the hair and makes it look super flat and smooth and kind of like extra pressed, if that makes any sense. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is definitely a gorgeous color and it's very complimentary for the chocolate girls. So thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one.